Good morning, guys. It is day two on the Camino Portuguese, the coastal route. Uh, it is 9 a.m. Woke up super late because today is only a 14 kilometer day and uh, I should be there in about four hours, so I didn't want to rush it. Last night, the temperature uh, dropped dramatically. I think it was in the low 30s. I, don't know, I was covered, I had extra blankets. And uh, this morning, uh, everybody left. I'm still here. About 14 people were at the albergue. There were people coming in even at night. And uh, yeah, short day, but uh, it's good because tomorrow is gonna be at 24 kilometers, 24, 26. If I would have decided to do a double today, it would have been a 40 kilometer day. And it is too early on the journey to try to push your body to do something as crazy as that. So I'm gonna take it easy. I want to go to a pharmacy and get some chapstick for my lips because they're starting to crack and in the Frances they got really bad so I, uh, I want to avoid that on this trip. There's a bakery in town so let's go hit it. Well in a way I'm kind of glad that it is a short day 14 kilometers because you know I had a massive injury on my left leg after the Via Francigena. It left me uh, almost paralyzed in the sofa for two days before I called 911 and went to the emergency room. And after that, it was like a three month uh, period of doing therapy and exercises and I had a cane, but I'm back to normal now. I'm at 100% and I wanna take it easy. I don't wanna push it. That is the one thing that is gonna be in the back of my mind throughout the entire trip especially when I finish this one and I do the Camino del Norte and it's all mountains, that's gonna be uh, a challenge probably. Oh, there's a bakery. All right, just had breakfast, guys. It was uh, a ham and cheese sandwich and a cappuccino. It hit the spot and now I'm heading out. I'm gonna go to the coast, to the beach, which I can see it already in the distance. There's no wind right now, which is great, but I'm sure that it's gonna pick up in the afternoon. That is something that you notice, uh, especially when you live uh, next to the, the ocean, as I have for most of my life. And yeah, all right, enough talking. Let's hit the beach. I happily rejoined the wooden pathway by the La Bruce Beach. The infamous rocky Costa Negra has called home to numerous shipwrecks over the centuries. The spectacular panoramic views from a stone marker by the Castro San Pio Beach and the remains of a fortified Celtic settlement dating back to the Iron Age were the highlights of the morning. Vila Chá is a traditional Portuguese fishing village. A British bomber crash landed on the beach on September 17, 1943 after being hit by an anti-air battery. The brave local fishermen didn't hesitate and rescued all seven crew members. Man, the sun is out and he warmed up dramatically. It's, uh, it's very surreal, the difference between uh, the, how cold it is in the morning when you wake up and then as soon as the sun comes out, the temperature changes by about 20 degrees or so Fahrenheit. I don't really need to wear this uh, fleece jacket, but the thing is the wind. The wind chill factor, I think kind of like drops it down another 10 degrees. So I'm taking a refuge right now behind the sand dune because it's been uh, blowing very hard. I'm still looking for a pharmacy to get something for my lips, some chapsticks or so. I saw the first sign to Santiago at a, at a bar, a cafe by the beach and I took a five minute break. I had some uh, mango and orange juice and uh, some uh, sparkling water. I haven't seen that many water fountains along the way as I was expecting, but there's so many villages and and cafes along the way that, uh, you know, 
so far it's not become an issue but uh, i gotta keep an eye on that so yeah that's it for the break time to continue i think i'm about halfway there it's 11 30 in the morning i think uh the alberga doesn't open until two so if i get there before i'm just gonna have to wait maybe just explore the town a little bit yeah let's do that so let's go <laughs> The sun is behind me the whole time, so I had to put a sunscreen on uh, on my neck and my face. But I think uh, the tan is gonna come from behind, not from the front, if you get what, what I mean. The imposing Monastery of Santa Clara atop a hill founded in 1318 was one of the richest in Portugal and is considered a prime example of the Portuguese Gothic architecture north of the Douro River. I crossed the busy bridge over the Aba River into Vila do Conde, one of the oldest settlements in Portugal dating back to the Iron Age. A detour from the Yellow Arrows to visit a friend and the famous replica of a typical 16th century Portuguese ship from the Age of Discovery. The 17th century Pentagon Che Fortress of San Joan Bautista was a pleasant surprise. It is strategically located at the river's delta to defend the naval shipyards from pirate attacks. Finally made it to Paul. It is 2.20, so I have to uh, look for the albergue. I already had lunch. I went to a pizza place, got myself a supreme pizza and a beer. I'm taking some uh, leftovers for dinner. So yeah, this place reminds me a lot of uh, Rio. Uh, Rio de Janeiro yeah, with the beach, the, the walkway, the path and uh, very nice so right now I'm heading to the albergue trying to see if I can uh, wash all my clothes and uh, hopefully I'll have enough time to uh, have them dry because uh, for the second day in a row I had to hang out my socks in my backpack because uh, I didn't get enough sunlight so yeah Let's go for that albergue right now. So guys, finally made it to the albergue at 3 p.m. So not too bad, did it in what, five hours? Supposed to take three, but I take lots of uh, break to, uh, to film mostly. And on my way here, I found a pharmacy and I got myself some uh, chapstick for my lips. So I'm good in that respect. I made it to the, the albergue and I got this room all to myself with a bottom bunk bed. I don't know how long that's gonna last. I'm sure somebody else is gonna show up here sooner rather than later. And uh, the place is Donativo. So about 10 euros, got my stamp. I mean, what else can I say? I'm gonna do laundry right now and take a shower. I have an, a shower here in my room. So that's always a plus. And I actually see another, all the pilgrims coming. So we'll see, good day. It's been two hours since I got to the albergue and I took a shower, settled in. I have my own room all to myself and I was just transferring all the footage and recharging all the electronics and that is taking a long chunk of my time, especially when I get to the albergue, about an hour and a half or two, depending on how much I shot that day. I, uh, I hand wash my clothes and hang them out by the window and he got about an hour worth of uh, sunlight. Do you think it's gonna be dry by the time I get back? Well, if you say no, why are you such a pessimist? And if you say yes, you're an optimist. So let's just go with uh, maybe, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of shots now. 
with the drone since the sun is almost down I have uh, the leftovers pizza for uh, for dinner and guys if you're new to the channel thank you for for sticking around how about you go to my website at frankgonzalez.com and check out all the content that I have there I mean right now you're watching the YouTube videos but I'm also gonna be posting uh, pictures 3d pictures 3d videos 360 uh, pictures and videos so there's gonna be a lot of supplemental material for the trip but you can only find it in my website great trip so far I love the walking by the ocean even though it gets a little bit windy and cold sometimes but that beats walking in the middle of, of the summer I don't know how pilgrims do it sometimes I'm the kind of guy that likes to walk when the temperature is uh, between 55 and 65 that seems to be like the sweet spot for me so yeah let's wait a couple of uh, probably about an hour or so for the sun to go down and take advantage of this nice lighting this nice light and fly the drone I know you guys love the drones so here you go made it back to the albergue and I'm having leftovers for dinner by the way my clothes did not dry so there goes that guys good news I have the dorm all to myself they even gave me a key so I can go out and explore town without having to worry about my valuables getting stolen I don't think it's gonna happen anyways but it's always good to have that peace of mind and uh, yeah that's it for today. That's the end of the vlog. See you tomorrow. You're still here? Come on. <laughs> Click next.